Early this year, the government of Uganda committed itself towards the implementation of the policies that favor private sector, especially the investors, whose policies included by Uganda Build Uganda policy. To launch the Buy Uganda Build Uganda implementation strategy. However, the executive director of Steel and Tube Industries, Nelax Bahat, said that lack of implementation of past policies by government has affected the private sector, especially the investors in Uganda. The problem what we see is on the side of the implementation of those policies and those decisions which are being taken. Uh, when you are talking about industrialization of uh, the nation, definitely you are talking about private sector more. When you are private sector focused, private sectors are more on, on the competition. They have to grow and survive in the very much open and competitive environment. So the speed at which private sector needs to move, the government policies are in place, the conducive environment is placed, but the implementation of those policies and those those uh, initiatives by the government are not keeping pace with that one which is of a private sector. Nilak says the government passed policies like industrialization policy which included infrastructure development banned and buy Uganda build Uganda policy which involves Uganda buying local content like raw materials but there is no implementation of these policies. Industrialization policies were first of all to have the industrial parks in each uh, major towns of Uganda. Uh, if you see the implementation, it's really challenging. Even where we are sitting as of now is Kampala Industrial and Business Park, Namanwe, where we have set up a plant. But definitely, we have gone through many challenges in terms of infrastructure. Even now, we are facing those challenges in terms of uh, roads, in terms of electricity, the quality of power, uh, the water, the drainage. So. The main challenge is, is the implementation part of those initiatives, though they are in place. He noted that government is coming up with many projects like building a standard gauge railway, construction of new dams, but still it has continued to buy raw materials abroad, yet there are many industries in Uganda which can make the same raw materials. So many big projects, which is like dams, uh, airports, and uh, Many electricity projects are also going on, the railway is coming. But we don't see that much of buying from the local market, being a local manufacturers, that is why we invested in. We were promised and encouraged by the government that look, these are the projects coming, gear up yourself, build your capacity so that you can you can supply these projects and you can buy locally. Story compiled by Julius Mohumuza for Dream TV.